Okay, so it's time. We have been here for about two and a half months. I think we're finally settled in enough to show you around. So we're gonna go ahead and take you inside and show you the camper. I think because there's so much to see that I'm gonna give you all a second to just go ahead and take it all in before I start with the official tour. And that's it. That's the tour. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But it really is that simple. Everybody is so curious. What's it like to live in a camper? You know, um, I get some really, really funny questions. And maybe I'll try to answer them um, somewhere along the lines of this tour. Um, but just to jump straight into it. When we first walk in the door, we walk into what we refer to as the common area. Which is what I just gave you a good, um, a good span of. We have um, a coffee area set up because everybody knows that this is the most important thing anywhere you go um, because coffee is life. Um, so we have our coffee station set up. We have a cabinet underneath here for our coffee. It works out great for hubby because his bedroom is actually right here. So when he comes out of his room, he just goes straight for the good stuff. Um, we have everything that we need in a kitchen. It's just on a smaller scale. So we have a double sink. We have um, we have a, a, a gas oven top. We have a stove um, or oven. I guess this would be the stove top and we have an oven. And then we have a microwave. We have a, um, a freezer and a refrigerator that actually stores Believe it or not, a good bit of stuff. I don't think I'll go ahead and give you the inside look on the refrigerator, but just trust me, it actually stores a good bit of stuff. Um, and then for the sink, we have like this little, um, let's see if I can show you. We have this little roll up when it's, you know, when it's down, it's like a dish strainer. You can set your dishes on top of it and then it rolls up out of the way so that you can use that side of the sink. And then this side here is um, a cutting board. And you can see we actually use this a lot. Um, but this is our cutting board. And then when we're not using it, we take it and we store it just right here like that out of the way so that we can use that part of the sink. Um, we have our Vitamix up here because we love to make smoothies. Um, we put this shelf up back here, which I highly recommend... Um, Everybody do. The shelf was only like six, seven dollars off of Amazon. I can um, go back and find the link and put it in the description for you. But I highly, highly, highly recommend one of these shelves here because um, I don't know what it is about this sink, um, the sink area, the way everybody uses it. But every time we use this sink, we end up with like Noah's flood back here. It's just crazy. So when we had the things back here, which, you know, you have very little space, so you end up with things back here. It was really hard to keep it clean. It was hard to keep it dry. And then once we put this shelf here, it was just, it's amazing. It's perfect. And it also really opens up this space. Like my husband right away said, all of a sudden our tiny little counter, it looks so much bigger. Um, so I highly recommend getting one of those. For our paper towels, we just got like a, like one of those sticky things too, to get the paper towels and get the space here. And then um, if you're cur curious why our, our rags are hanging here, we hang our rags here um, after we wash them at night so that they can drip dry and drip dry like into the sink as opposed to, um, I don't know, on the floor or leaving them in the sink and just letting them get uh, nasty, stinky. Um, when you come in to the right side here, this is my husband's bedroom. Um, there's a his and a her side and then our bedrooms meet in the middle because you know just like any perfect marriage you have his side her side and then you meet in the middle right um, here let me just um, show you this way so we have these three sterilite drawers that we actually purchased and put in here um, so that we had more space for you know socks and underwear and different things and then we bought a basket for the nightstand that um is back here that just holds all of our random stuff and then um this is clothes and this is clothes so that's kind of like his closet right there 
So I guess this would be his dresser. Uh, and then this would be his closet. And then I put a little morning motivation up there for him because I just feel like nothing feels like home without a little bit of decor. And then um, I'll go ahead and show you my side of the room while we are on this side here. And my side of the room is much fancier than his, of course. <laughs> um, same thing, I just have, whoa, sorry, I knocked the camera. Same thing, I just have um, the Sterilite drawers here that I have my bras and socks and underwear and bathing suits and all of that stuff in. I have my closet space here. I um, hung this up here to have somewhere to, to store my necklaces. And then this little shelf here just has turned out to be a great place to keep my earrings. And then my morning motivation. I also share my side of the room with the baby. Um, so that's why his stuff is up there. And then down here I have a basket that has like blankets and burp cloths and wipes and diapers. Um, just a nice little kind of like grab and go area there. Um, the bed, I will go ahead and be very honest with y'all. As much of a neat freak as I am, as organized as I tend to be, I have never been a bed maker. I don't know why. I don't know what it is. I've just never been a bed maker. Um, and here I end up having a really good excuse for that because it's really hard to make the bed in here. Um, I did it for y'all. So I just kind of like threw, basically I just threw the cover up on one side and threw the cover up on the other side and that was it. But, um, so you're welcome. Uh, but when you, let's kind of back up back into the kitchen area here. When you um, come straight in, what you see is what we call the living room. Um, let me just back out of the way here so I can show you what that looks like. Um, we have this sofa here is actually um, like a sleeper sofa. So it folds out into a full size bed and then um, we have the TV here, um, and this is, you know, supposed to be the entertainment center, but we've actually taken this cabinet and we've used it as, like, we've turned it into our dish cabinet because, you know, most of the stuff that we do TV-wise is um, digital, digital. And then this is toys for the baby, essential oil storage, and then DVDs um, that goes with that. Um, one really cool thing about the living room area is that this TV actually spins around like this so that when Honey and I go to bed at night, we can watch, um, TV and the other side of it is a mirror, which we love having um, during the day because, you know, we're a homeschool family. We don't watch a lot of um, TV and things like, like not a whole lot of technology during the day. But having this mirror right here like this, it just opens up the space incredibly so. Um, so I love having that TV that spins around so we can watch TV in bed. And I also love having the mirror on the back side of that so that during the day it um, makes it feel more open everywhere. Um, so there's the kitchen and then the living room. Oh, my tip for the living room would be get you one of these collapsible ottomans. I'm pretty sure we got this off of Amazon as well. So I can go back and find that link. Um, but the couch is, um, comfortable to sit on, but it feels a little bit shallow when we sit on it. So you feel like you need somewhere to prop up your feet. And then we are also, um, crazy, crazy blanket people. We probably have, um, if I had to guess, I would say we got like more than one for everybody. So we probably have like two, four, six, we might have like 10 blankets. Um, so this one's up here because it doesn't even fit in there. Um, but we love like our cozy blankets. And so we bought this ottoman, um, for the cozy blankets and then picked this one specifically because it's a sturdy top. So you can sit on it. The kids have like stood on it to use it for a stool to get in the cabinet. 
Um, it's nice and sturdy, so I feel comfortable, you know, like sitting on it when we're sitting in here or propping my feet up on it. It's just, it's great. Um, so it definitely is um, one of my favorite things that we've added to the camper. And then over here, we have our dining area and um, it actually fits the kids perfectly. So the four of them fit really nice around the table. And then this is our high chair that is um, a foldable, I mean, it's almost like it was made for this space, is a foldable high chair. Um, and it goes really well right up against the table here. Um, or sometimes we um, also bring it to the couch when we're eating at the couch because we also have dinner trays um, that we use um, that when we pull, we pull them out and then we eat, um, at the couch right here and that turns into like our little eating station and that works out really well. So there's plenty of space for everybody to sit and eat between all of us. Um, and then this table right here actually folds down and the back cushions fill in that space and this turns into another like full size bed area. Um, our favorite family tradition is every Friday night we would do movie night when we had our our house um, and uh, when the kids like when there was only a couple of them they would pile into the bed with us but they started getting bigger and there was more of them now we have five so we um, would just let them pile on the floor and they would just all make their pallets on a Friday night and we would watch a movie together and they would get to sleep in the room with us um, and so it's really nice to have this that folds out into a bed for um, hubby and I and the baby. And then the kids pile on here and then we watch a movie there. And it allows us to continue our tradition of um, family movie night on Friday nights. So that was really neat um, just to feel like we could take something with us. Um, and then, so if we keep moving back, we have this right here is our um, pantry. We call it pantry number one because we've also taking, taken this storage area here and turned it into food storage with a big long bin. And we call that pantry number two. We took this storage area and we turned it into our dog crate system. So in the very back is a bin that keeps all of our dog stuff and then his bed fits here. And we took this door off, made a sliding frame and um, when he's not in, like when we don't have to lock him up, the door just sits right in here. I'll actually do um, a separate video for that to show you how we made that. Um, Cause if anybody is gonna be living in a travel trailer camper and they have an animal that has separation anxiety like ours does, you don't wanna have to have that big, huge crate. I mean, it took up, I mean, it just, it was cumbersome and it was right in the way. And the only person that liked having it in here was Princess Sweet Potato because she would use it as a seat to kind of have her own spot at the table. Um, so we came up with this system so that he could still have his safe little dark space and we could keep him confined when we weren't home. And um, like I said, I'll do another video and I'll show you how we made it because it's definitely a must have um, for anybody that needs to crate their dogs in a camper. Um, a lot of people are super curious about the bathroom. So I am going to, um, sorry, the fan is on in here and it just totally made me like squirrel. Uh, <laughs> um, a lot of people are curious about the bathroom. So yes, we have a shower. Yes, we have a toilet that flushes and we have running water. So we're not like roughing it out in the woods. Um, but although it's small, it still is very um, decent size. So um, we have, you know, some storage. I hung some stuff up in here for storage. Like I said, every room needs a little bit decor of a decor to feel like home. Um, it has a mirror with a medicine cabinet. Um, what you hear running is actually that fan up there, which I will explain to you the significance and the importance of that um, in just a second. Our shower, we have like a little mini tub in the bottom. Um, it's actually a really decent shower for um, for uh, a camper, I, I feel like. I it's, it's small, but we can take really good showers in it. The kids can still take their baths. Um, so I'm pretty happy with that. 
Um, my tip for the bathroom would be similar to what I was telling you about in the kitchen. Um, so for quite a while, we were getting really frustrated, mostly with the kids, because we were finding that this counter was just always flooded with water. And we thought the kids were in here making these catastrophic messes. And um, it really took a little while for the light to go on for us to realize that really what was flooding our bathroom was the steam from our showers. Um, so we got another one of these shelves and we put it on the counter and put the stuff that was on the counter up, which made a huge difference because now stuff could actually dry before it was, I guess what was happening is everything was getting, you know, the condensation from the steam and then the water was falling and all of that condensation was what was forming the, um, the puddled water. And then you'd have to come in here and, you know, physically remove the water. It just would never dry. So, um, we got that shelf system there and that has been fantastic because now everything dries, the water doesn't puddle. And the other thing, the other significance to that is, is that I'm, I, I think they all come with it, but ours has this fan. Um, it's like a latch actually that like this knob makes it kind of flip up and then you push the button and it turns the fan on. And it, um, I mean, it works really, it works better than the fans in, in a house, in a, in a brick and mortar house. You can literally feel it pulling air up from the bottom and it dries the bathroom out really quickly. Um, because even if you manage to get a long enough shower, even the inside of the medicine cabinet just gets like steamy. Um, but we owed an apology. We had to apologize to, for the kid, to the kids, um, for that one, because I know I, for one, was just like, what are you guys doing to make it so wet in here? Stop splashing water all over the place. Clean up your messes. You know, like all of the mom screaming things that we do. Um, so I was like, my bad, sorry. <laughs> um, and then the last room to show you um, is what I refer to as the three in one. And I will show you why. So this, well, this first is uh, Abigail's fancy little sign. Ooh, sorry about that. I hit the camera again. Um, this is Abigail's fancy little sign. This says kids room. Anybody is welcome, even if you are an animal. And if I just, so this is our three in one. The reason why I call it a three in one is because this is our playroom, which is signified by the play rug in the middle of the floor. And then this is our school room, um, which is super cool because, um, well, this side they store all of their co-op stuff in, and then this side we store all of our curriculums. Um, we've got colored books, coloring books and crowns here, um, extra printer paper here because we print a lot. Um, this drawer is empty because you always need to leave yourself a little bit of room to grow in and then this is my diaper changing station um and then this just has like puzzles and board games and stuff like that this is really cool here and this is really cool here i'm gonna try and see if i can set y'all up so i can show you what is really cool about these two sections and please don't judge me there are four kids that stay in here all the time in this tiny little space but so this is our homeschool section this area right here is actually exactly why I picked this particular model um, because these are both slides which um, is what opens up this whole wall right here and what we have here is lots of extra toys because Christmas um, and all this mess hiding. What we have here is, this is our morning basket. If anybody wants to know about our morning basket, we love our morning basket. Um, this is the table. So this flips up during our school hours and then this leg flips down. Um, I'm not gonna do that right now because I wanna be able to flip it back up. But this is where um, a lot of schoolwork happens, especially for um, our four-year-old and all of her preschool stuff. And then under here is three more shelves that holds a ton more um, homeschool supplies. So 
during the school hours, this table flips up, and this is our schoolroom area. Um, this is our morning basket, and this is just toys we haven't figured out what we're going to do with yet. And then this is um, my four-year-old's bed that usually stays down during um, the school hours. And then once we're done with school, she takes all of her little animals and we lay them here like on the side like this. And then like this, this whole thing here flips up and there's toys hiding in it, but it flips up like this and then it locks. Okay. Whew. Okay. Sorry about that. I had to get that locked up. Um, but what happens here when you open that up is you get um, access to the toy box. So um, this is where they store all of their toys. Once this bed comes up, when everybody's finished with school, that's when this really um, reveals itself to be the schoolroom. Um, we have four bunks. We've got two on this side and we've got two on this side. This is actually two J cube beds that we've just stacked on top of each other and laid flat. So if you were to unstack them and turn them this way, you actually would have more of a full size bed and then it would sleep five back here instead of four. What we did for our clothes, since we did take the cabinets behind us and use it as like the schoolroom, is we just got these collapsible, um, collapsible laundry uh, things off of Amazon and painted some one by fours to find the studs and hung those in a rod and now that's where they you know hang and pile all of their stuff there and then this is a 10 shelf shoe rack that I purchased also off of Amazon and um, bought the drawers and then each child has like four boxes for their clothes and they do the KonMari style folding um, which is why they're able to fit their clothes in there and it works out really well and then um, we have a family hamper here we bought like an oversized hamper off of um, uh, Walmart I think we got I don't know where we got that but it's a um, or Target maybe um, Anyway, we got that off of, um, or off of, we got that from a store somewhere, uh, and that's our family laundry hamper, so that when it gets full, we do the laundry, because we do have to take our laundry to the laundry mat, which is only a block down the street inside the community where we stay, which is really nice, um, but that helps us to not get too overloaded with laundry, um, and that's pretty much it for the inside of the camper. But I hope y'all enjoyed. Uh Bye.